staying with us all this week. Virgin Media Ireland have been raising awareness and much needed funds for the Alzheimer's Society of Ireland, concluding on Sunday night with a highly anticipated document, documentary, excuse me, Finding Jack Charlton, which looks back at Charlton's career and his life with dementia. Now you can be in with a chance to win a stunning portrait of the legendary Irish football manager created by self-taught Irish artist Shane Gillen, who joins us this morning on the couch. Good morning to Shane. Hi, Shane. Good morning. We've been we? looking at it all morning and admiring it. <laughs> and uh, so Virgin Media commissioned you to do this specially for this week. That's right. Yeah, a couple of weeks ago, uh, maybe a month ago now, uh, Virgin Media got in touch and, you know, told me about the upcoming documentary that's coming out on Sunday, nine o'clock. <laughs> and... Um, <laughs> Yeah, and, and basically asked would I would I um, do a portrait of Jack Charlton, especially for it, um, especially given the week that's in it. So. And we're, we're looking at it there. Like, so the detail is incredible. So how do you start the process? Uh, like, is it you take lots of pictures? Lots, are you looking at lots of pictures? Yeah, and... lots of coffee. And then, <laughs> lots of coffee. Um, yeah, lots of pictures. It's, it's different for every single one. Um, for this one, Virgin Media had, a, had an iconic image of Jack Charlton that they wanted to portray. So... Um, uh, they sent me the reference images of, of Jack and then, um, yeah, like it, it's different for every different commission that I do. Sometimes I'd have like a series of different reference photos of the person. Mm. Um, often, you know, with Jack Charlton, he's so iconic that at least when you're drawing it, you can kind of take a step back and say, that looks like Jack yeah, Charlton. Yeah, and everybody's but, going to instantly yeah, recognise it's but Jack Charlton. But often, Charlton, yeah. maybe sometimes if I'm drawing a commission of someone who, who I've never met, like I don't, I'm not afforded that opportunity where you can take a step back and go, that, well, that looks like the person. So yeah. often, you like, you're them. hoping that it does. But, uh, yeah, this one came together quite nice. And it's quite different to my other ones as well. So it was a different style. And, Shane, he's got a face, had a face that was so full of character and you were able to capture that perfectly. Sometimes are um, people's faces harder to get down on paper, even if you do know them? Absolutely, definitely. Really? Yeah, yeah, definitely. What would you um, struggle with in terms of... Yeah, I've, I've tried to figure that out myself. Like, I've tried to figure out why some people... <laughs> I just find it's it difficult? really... difficult? Who have you sort of given up on? <laughs> Is there anybody you've sort of gone, I can't do this, yeah. I can't get him? Uh, that would be telling. Um, yeah, but I, I... Yeah, some people, I don't know why. Like, I just... Some of them I've just had to start again. Um, and then, with any, like every creative process, uh, you know, sometimes you're just... It's just that spark isn't there or the flow isn't there. Yeah. And, Mm. I find myself staring at a blank page. So although obviously it's like best foot forward, you, obviously you see the great results, but like there's been hours of uh, yeah. torment as well. Like so, uh, you uh, we're going to have another look at a few of your beautiful uh, portraits in a few minutes. One very special one that stands out is of your grandma Anna. Yeah. Uh, you have first-hand experience of Alzheimer's because your your grandma is not well. How is she doing now, and what's your experience of it been? Yeah, it's. I mean, it's like any kind of silent illness because mm. you know if you were to talk to her, like she's in full spirits and mm. she even got uh, there she is there she even had covid around this time last year in a, in a nursing home and overcame that and wow. you know like she uh, yeah so it's uh, yeah like any silent illness is, it's so tragic because you know it's the things that like you know not remembering someone's name and it, yeah. it you can't help but feel that that's a personal thing even though of course it's not because you know she she knows no different and mm. uh, yeah it's 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 you know, I heard someone describe it as uh, the start of goodbye, you know, with, with something like dementia. And it's sort of getting used to that. But I, I'd say you'd be hard pressed to find um, anyone in, in Ireland or anywhere like where who doesn't have an elderly relative who's in, in some yeah. way close to that. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, it's probably every second person I'd, I'd imagine. It's, yeah, it's very, very, very common. So. so Martin King was on the show with us yesterday saw, and he was yeah. saying um, that it's like saying goodbye twice. twice yeah, um, yeah, yeah very for sad. sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it is It is very tragic. How long sure. does it take you to do something like that when you were drawing your grandmother or when you're drawing Jack? Um, a few, like, really, a couple of days. Uh, yeah, Intense a couple of, of couple of days, yeah. Yeah, and, yeah, it's almost like meditation. Like, you don't you don't find the hours, like, you don't find it at it's all. those like, days you don't drink, you don't yeah, smoke, you, yeah, don't, yeah, you exactly. don't eat. Yeah, it's yeah. like you're literally yeah, it's, concentrating. It's, it's made on. for lockdown, absolutely yeah. made for lockdown. <laughs> but you're working full-time, so this isn't your full-time job. Yeah, that's true, yeah. Um, I suppose that when I... You know, I only really returned to art um, in a meaningful, like this time last year when, when lockdown was first announced. I actually, I used to draw as a kid a lot and um, like I won competitions as a kid and got my A1 in the Leaving Cert mm. and all that. But then just life happened, you know, and I, I uh, became busy with work and things like that. And I didn't do art in college or anything. And it was never something that you turned to through your 20s for like just therapy, with, with my... to relax. Yeah, no, like, and I, I, I always, it's just one of those things where I always said, like, I must see, can I still do it? Like, and then, uh, and I've done, I've done design work 
all right, but like digital design work. But uh, yeah, it was last year when lockdown was announced and I was kind of thinking I needed to do something creative, you know, and uh, I just found a sketch pad and off I went. And yeah, the reaction has been mad. So um, yeah. And uh, speaking of lockdown, I mean, some of the stuff like you're one of Tony Houlihan obviously got great traction because it was like someone we didn't know. And then suddenly everybody in the country knew Tony yeah, Houlihan. For sure. Yeah. And yeah. then you other people like Michael D. Higgins and he sent you a letter from Oris and Uchtaran. And you still thank, don't know thank. how he, he saw it. I've no idea. I mean, I, I'd like to think he was lying in bed, scrolling on Instagram and... <laughs> and spotted it. <laughs> and spotted it. But uh, yeah, no, I've, I've no idea how he, how he saw it, but... Um, do you have any hidden uh, messages in any of, or do you, do you sign your name? Yeah, no, they, a lot of them have, have hidden messages in them. Um, I know the, the Tony Houlihan one, I, I titled that The Numbers and like close up, it's full of different numbers that are binary code, which obviously is, is data. And mm. that's what we knew Tony Houlihan as like every night we were glued to the numbers, mm. you know, and uh, we madly still are. <laughs> but, oh God, um, I know. And, still and so his, his is full of different like numbers uh, made up of binary code. And a lot of them have different messages within them. So, yeah, I like to hide different things in them for sure. Is there, is there one hidden in Gay Burn? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there's, so, yeah. There's Gay, look at that. That's, That's a lovely picture of Gay Burn. Um, you have such an unusual way of, well, approaching the process, but also the finished result. Is it two ink pens and one pencil? Is that all you use? Yeah, it's kind of, yeah, the, the pens have gotten promoted since and there's a few more, but... Uh, you fancy ones but it's, now, it's just ones. A, yeah, I got, I got a few <laughs> fancy ones. I was on Google looking up the fanciest ones, but... Uh, yeah, it's just a couple of pens. Like, I, I start with ink. Um, like, with the Gay Byrne one, that was, like, when I was probably a little less confident a year ago and I was going in with pencil and then going back with ink after. But, yeah, I start with ink, so if it goes wrong, I, I just start there's again. There's just one more that we would love to see. Bono, you, there's, there's, a, there's a great one of Bono as well, and he's so iconic as well. Yeah. We got that one there. But they're just the likeness. Yeah, there, is look at that. Like the likeness, it's so incredible that you you literally only do it with a pen. Do you have hidden lyrics in there? I do, yeah. Do yeah. you? Well, oh, you've hidden there's lyrics, do you? There's lyrics in that one, yeah, up close. <laughs> um, they're just incredible, aren't they? They're, you, they are. They are. You fantastic. could actually spot, look at them for hours. Thanks so, so much. Yeah. Thanks, Emil. Um, well done. And as you say, just starting it again after all those years, just in lockdown, they are incredible. Thank you, thank Thanks, you so much for joining Thanks us Thanks for having this me, morning. of course, no problem. And the very best of luck for the future. Thank you very Long much. Long may continue. Mm -hmm. Don't put those pencils down there. Too, <laughs> too incredible yeah, a talent to waste. <laughs> to be under the chance to win the stunning portrait of Jack Charlton you just saw there, you can make a donation at donatefordementia.ie. Yeah, we're going to take a quick break now. We have lots more of Arnold I'm still to come. We'll see you in a few minutes.